and is it true? And is it true, this most tremendous tale of all? Seen in a stained glass window's hue, a baby born in ox's stall. The maker of the stars and seas become a child on earth for me. And is it true? For if it is, no loving fingers tying strings around those tissued fripperies, the sweet and silly Christmas things, bath salts and inexpensive scents, and hideous ties so kindly meant, no love that in a family dwells, no carolling in frosty air, nor all the steeple shaking bells can with this single truth compare that God was man in Palestine and lives today in bread and wine. Is it true? Uh, words of the John Betjeman poem, just an extract. Uh, thanks to Anna for uh, acting that out for me. Um, is it true? That's the point. Despite all the rumours that you may have heard can I promise you that Christmas is not cancelled this year? Christmas will still go on. It's been disappointing. It's uncertain. There's a lot of fear about. But I'm promising you that Christmas is just going to be a simpler affair. It will be simpler, but it will not be cancelled. There's an opportunity for us this Christmas to engage in a brand new way with the real meaning of Christmas. Is it true? There's a chance for you to gaze into the crib and to look and see afresh what the Christian message might be. I've been doing that myself. I uh, read the passage of the birth of Christ and, and I suddenly... It struck me, there's Mary and Joseph travelling from Nazareth to Bethlehem, about 90 miles or so, about three days journey. And it was a journey full of risk. And it was a journey that involved following government guidance. Does that sound familiar? Uh, they were told what to do and they were obedient and they did what they were called to do and they took the risk. They navigated the uncertain roads and they got to their destination of Bethlehem. Uh, they held on. I think they understood that if they just trust in God, God would do the rest. And I think that's a great message. Uh, following the rules, doing what you're told, even if it's frustrating, even if it's inconvenient, even if it's so annoying just uh, for the time being, doing what you feel God's calling you to do. Uh, and then you've got the shepherds. Now, the shepherds are fascinating characters because, um, well, well, they're really the key workers of their day. Uh, the, the shepherds were kind of, had a really uh, lowly uh, opinion in society, no social status whatsoever. And uh, they were on the edge. They were in the fields outside Bethlehem. They couldn't follow all the big religious rules of their day. Uh, they couldn't be scribes, they couldn't be Pharisees. But if it wasn't for the shepherds, there'd be no food on the table, uh, no lamb for Passover. If it wasn't for the shepherds, there'd be no lambs to take for all the big religious services that were going on at the temple at the time, the newborn lambs that would be sacrificed. These our key workers, the shepherds, are important. And why is that important for us? Because God appears to them first. The angels uh, suddenly appear in the sky and the angels are singing God's praises and they are saying, God is doing a new thing. Go and have a look for yourself. The key workers. Now the Magi, they're interesting because they're looking for truth. Is it true? Is all of this right? They're the ones who end up going, searching, looking for a star, following the star, 
And then with all these questions, suddenly getting an answer, they look into the crib and they see that God has become a human being. They see that God has allowed himself to live a human life. And when I look at that crib, I see that God is with us, that God's with us in the frustrations and the fears and the disappointments and the hurts and the grief and the sorrow, and God is in the middle of it all. And he's a baby. And what's more, he trusts us to look after him for a while. Do you have any idea how radical that is? I wonder who God's calling you to look after. Somebody over the next few days, somebody that you could just look out for. Is it true? The thing is, if it's not true, then I'm a fool. Everyone's a fool. All those Christians, billions of us across the world, we're all fools. But if it is true, if it is true that God is truly with us, then that gives me hope. And that's what I need right now. I need hope. I need hope to know that God is with us, even in the simplest of Christmases.